Hello everybody and welcome to Jim Games. Right, this is speculation for tea drinkers. This is where I can let loose and become as sarcastic as hell as much as I want about the bullshit speculation that goes on in No Man's Sky. So, without further ado, are you ready for this? Off we go, let's talk about speculation. The first one that's most feasible is the void. Effectively the void, a void in general, is a big dark place with nothing in it. So a Hello Games can just create a place where it's got no graphics in it and there's nothing there. You can be flying out forever with no planets or nothing. The void, right? And you can stick a boy and mother in the center. How's that sound? Awesome. Only bring you back down to earth, folks. A realm of glass. Yes, as ridiculous as the void. Why on earth would you want to fly around a galaxy which is just made of glass? You know, you could have a galaxy that's just made of Yorkshire puddings if you want. You know, Yorkshire puddings and gravy. Yeah, perfect. So, a realm of glass. Why would they do that? They wouldn't. There you go. Brought you back down to earth again, folks. Right, water physics is the next one. How ridiculous. We're turning more into, like, Fortnite all the time, aren't we, folks? Yeah. What do you want to do? Jump on a surfboard and start surfing the waves? Stand under a waterfall? What would that do? What aim would it do? What gameplay? Everybody would be bored in a day. Next one. Ship customization. Good God, why do people keep harping on about that, right? Do you know how many different types of ships we've got in No Man's Sky? Can you imagine all the different ships in the spawn pool having to be able to, you know, clip on and off objects like wings and tails and fins and stuff? It'll be impossible. You know, the Nintendo Switch would just explode, right? He would never be able to do it. It would take years to make something like that. So, no, I don't think it's ship customization. It will never come in. Don't even harp on about it. A new alien race. Crikey. I doubt there'll be a new alien race, folks. Do you know why? Because Hello Games are too obsessed with Sentinels. We just get update after update after update about Sentinels all the time. You know, it's like a Sentinel Groundhog Day. So yeah, no, we will not get an, uh, a new race in the game. Ever, unfortunately. Gun turrets on bases. Yeah, this is the most feasible thing. You know, it's the most obvious thing. It's to fight from all the different variants of Sentinel to keep bringing out, right? Yeah, how many variants of Sentinel have we got now? 150? Yeah, they need to uh, stop doing the Sentinels now, don't they, folks? Anyway, next one. Right, the station core, that old chestnut. Yeah, that's been going around for ages. I think it was since the foundation update when Hello Games scrapped the idea and just left the, left the graphics in the game. Yeah, it's been one of the major things to do with all the speculation in No Man's Sky over the last year. And they'll never bring anything in. Have they brought it in in all the other updates? No. Do you know why? Because they're not going to. There you go. Let it die, Station Core. Space Station Ownership. Goodness me, this just comes up all the time. Why on earth would you want to own a space station? Come and tell me in the comments, why would you want to own a, own a space station? What are you going to be able to do on it, right? What, were you going, are you going to be able to build a base on it? Can you build a base in it, right? What are you going to be able to do? drive the prices down for yourself in your space station you know what are you supposed to do with the space station are you going to be able to land it on the planet you know i'm just being honest what can you do with a space station are you going to be able to modify the outside of it and make it like a space station type b come on folks it's just the realms of fantasy why on earth would you want to own one I don't want to own one. I'd rather own a Sentinel than a freaking space station. Anyway, next one. Space station type B. Yeah, you know, the space stations that you could get as a modern 
we can tuck the files away and everybody now thinks we're going to get a space station. We might do, but it's not going to be able to run on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, we have that Nintendo Switch issue. Yes, we do. And PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, are they going to be able to run on those systems? Come on, folks. Please have a bit of sense behind you. Think out of the box, you know, normally. Are they going to be able to run them? You know, are they be able to, the graphical capabilities of these systems, going to be able to handle these space stations? Yeah, no? No? Okay. Probably that's why they never brought them in. There you go. Right, that's it. Okay, I've had my bit. Okay, now then you can listen to all the other the shit talkers talking about speculation and uh, only doing it to get views on videos. Yeah, and you all watch their videos. What these speculation videos, you know, going into the realms of fantasy and then when an update comes out, it's nothing that they've said, okay? Nothing at all because of the graphic capabilities of the pre-gens and Nintendos which can't handle what you're thinking, right? And then what happens is you all get disappointed and leave and then once you've left for a few months you come back in the next update yeah so that's how it goes yeah that was sarcasm by the way folks yeah so what should you do doctor's orders don't listen to bullshit right anyway there you go that's my take on it and thanks for watching folks and i'll see you in the next video chatty bye